Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the special edition of the Midday Show. I'm Amy Herber, and today we are in the KVLC courtyard because I think it's time for all of us to spend some time out in the springtime weather. We've got Joshua from Greengate Garden Center joining us today with some super cool ideas that you can do with your kids outside in the springtime. I'm excited about this. Yeah, so with the kids home, or even if not, even during the summer, it's great to get them started early have some projects that they can engage with, interact with, that it's not just, that's mom and dad's garden and I stay out of there. It's something they so, can take some pride in. Right, exactly. But there's some things that mom and dad have to help with and this is one of those projects, this is so neat. So this is a butter bean tent. You don't have to use butter beans if you prefer green beans or if you wanted just flowers, you could do um, morning glories or anything that vines. Anything uh, that vines. Anything that vines then grows up so you can decide whether or not it's something you like to pick some food off of or just have something look pretty, but a place for them to get in and kind of hide and have a little secret hideout. So, so you're actually creating almost a teepee using these stakes. Right, that's exactly it. You can use bamboo stakes if you have some pieces of wood laying around. Um, whatever you have you can make it work so just something to come up and give the structure to let the plants grow around okay the option that you're showing us right now is of course not on the earth because we're in a we're in a patio situation so you've got some some pots filled with sand yeah so we just brought some pots filled with sand if you had like a big patio area that you wanted to do this you could just bigger pots fill it with potting soil instead of sand but this is just to kind of simulate sticking them down into the ground. Okay, and you've got some more. Yeah, so we've we got it here to finish, finish it out. It. Yeah. Oh, let's watch the roof. So, so you're you just, get, and just, if you were doing this on on the ground in your yard, you you would bury these or stick right, these down Right, you would just take the them down in, you would gather them together, have a little piece of rope or twine, whatever you have around, and you just simply get the right one. Okay, and we're just tying it off. So it doesn't even have to be like 100% perfect. Right, this is something that is just to be functional, something for the kids to enjoy and the vines will hold it all together after it's up. Okay, so any kind of vining plant we would put in the ground or in, in pots around this so that everything would kind of grow up around these Right, stakes. exactly. And then you just simply, if you had pots or you can put it on either side, you just simply plant a few seeds around each one and let them grow up. Okay, and then how much time does it take typically for like those vining plants before you start, you know, seeing a little covered teepee here for so the kiddo to it would take it would take a little while, but you should see something within a week or so. You should see it start to come up, pop up out of the ground. Of course, you'd want to remove the grass, do whatever you need, would regularly do yeah. to plant seeds in that area. Okay. But within a, a week, you should start to see those first little leaves emerge and then uh, depending on your conditions, uh, you know, within a month or so, you should start to really see some progress. Okay, for those new little seedlings, is there any special care that they require so that they continue um, to grow and thrive? So just regularly watering, um, and that's going to depend on where you're at. If we've had a bunch of rain, you don't want to soak them. You don't want them to drown in that. So you're going to have to okay. go just touch the soil. You know, you just simply feel and see, okay, that's dry. It needs some water and make sure that they do get regular care. Okay. early on and those vining plants would work well in in a full sun situation yes yeah, so in most the of the things would be full sun um but if you had something that did a little bit better with um some shade you know um i guess i can't think of anything right now but yeah. i know there are some vines out there that are a little bit more shady you could do it with maybe an ivy something like that put it in a, a shaded location and let it grow up i absolutely love this idea thanks so much for coming by to show us oh this. you're welcome fantastic Stay with us, we're gonna have more midday show for you right after the break.